Need some visually appealing charts for your presentation? Then let's go make some in Canva. If you want to add a chart element to your Canva page, the short way would be to activate magic commands by pressing Ctrl plus E on your keyboard. And voila! Type in pie chart and a drop down will immediately appear. By clicking on it, a pie chart will automatically be added to our page. The details will appear on the left. In case it gets closed, just click on the pie chart to make the sidebar reappear. Here on the sidebar is where we can edit the details of our pie chart. First, let's add a title to our pie chart. Now back to the sidebar. Here we can choose to edit the details one by one. Or you can click on the Clear Data button at the bottom of the table to clear things faster. Doing so will empty your pie chart. And then you can add details on each cell. Whenever you click on the last cell, a new one gets added below it. Let's keep on adding details until we're happy with it. On the Settings option, beside the Data option, we can choose to format values as either percentages or numbers. Below, we can also see other options. Upload CSV and Google Sheets. In case you already have values saved in these formats and you'd like to convert them into a pie chart in Canva, then these features would be useful and less time consuming. Now, in case you'd like to change your pie chart's appearance, we can change its color by clicking on the Color Selection tool on the toolbar above. We can also change the way the text appears by changing its font size, and font color. We can turn it to bold or italicize it. If you're doing your presentation within Canva, then 
you'd be able to add and use some animation effects for your pie chart. Click on the Animate button on the toolbar above, and then choose from different types of animation on the sidebar. And basically, that's it. Apart from pie charts, there are many different options you can choose from, such as line charts and bar charts. So I'm going to make a pie chart presentation here in Canva. If you'd like to watch my process and see how it turns out, then feel free to keep watching. If not, then I hope this video was somehow views.
And here we go! That's all we have for you today, and we hope you found this video of help somehow. Thanks so much for watching! We hope to see you in our next Canva tutorial video.